Okay, so we're gonna be screwed here because he banned my Siffy and Tormin is right there. So let's risk it for the biscuit. And we're going to have to get rid of Tormin first. So we blocked the revive there. Harima's probably gonna do her A2, knocking out one of my damage dealers. In fact, maybe sweeping the entire team here. And there it goes, the A3 sweeping. We're gonna bring her back, bring everybody back, but we're not sure how, how long that's gonna last for. I forgot what Fatalis does, but in recent videos I've seen, oh my God. All right, not doing too well for this round. Now he chose Armands. I had to, I had to pick Armands, and uh, of course my two choices were Rodos and Anithui for Wukong. However, with UDK here, it might be a little bit of an issue. So I think the best thing we can do right now is to try to just um, outspeed them and at the same time do our best to get rid of um, UDK's armor here. And if we're able to do it, then um, we might be solid, but I don't know. Oh, I just remembered in her first form, Mikage actually removes the debuff of somebody. Uh, was it the highest turn meter? Somebody... Uh, Told me, I was like, why did um, why did they uh have their debuff removed? And then I was just like, oh, cool. It was nice to read that. Okay, I guess we're done. Oh my god, holy fuck, bro. We're we're we are so cooked here, dude. There is no way we're getting out of this alive. Sippy is probably going to. But my only chance is to outspeed them, and and the only way I can do that is probably by banning Sippy. Uh, Georgian was a good pick because Georgian would, would Georgian would have ripped through Taurus. Um, not always, but oftentimes I've seen Georgian get ripped or rip through Taurus. So we have to worry about Armands. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to be straight up with you guys. We have to worry about everybody. Everybody's going to be an issue here. All of these champions are going to be a fucking problem for us. So let's boost Makage. Let's hit this. Uh, a hoof, hoof. Almost did not. Almost did not. Yeah, yeah, we get hit hard with Taurus. Leaving that combo together is also uh, not a good good choice, but I mean, what, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can we do? Can we hit the A1 on, on um, what's her name? Uh, pff, shit, son, I don't even know what to do. Let's just hit this. Yeah, and there goes Mikage. He's about to hit that uh, A3. Boom, God Hand. Love to see it. Even when I'm the one receiving a fist up the ass, you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy it happens. No ditty. Show me what you got. There you go. Swirl around. Boom. Love to see it. I love to see the combo, even if I'm on the losing end. All right, so we have another issue here. Kimmy's probably going to go really fast. I'm pretty sure she's going to outspeed me. And we also have Odin here, but I, I feel like Tormund is going to be clutch with all the buffs going up. The issue at hand here is do I ban Armand's? this random mythical champion that I don't know about, or Necrit. I feel like banning Necrit might actually um, bode well for us. In case he doesn't ban Tormund, then we have a good chance at freezing somebody. So, um, we're just gonna have to risk it. We'll see if we outspeed Armand's uh, or Mikage. No, sorry, not Mikage, Lady Kimmy. Lady Kimmy is the one we have to worry about here. And it looks like we're actually doing okay. So let's boost turn meter. Let's give it to Rodos. I feel like we just, we need to get rid of this mythical champion first. And then we're going to have to get rid of our Mons. And I feel like we're going to be okay here. So if she does anything, A2 or A3. I think her A2 places buffs, right? So yeah, she didn't do any of that. Um, gave it to our Mons. Hit the A3. Hope for a provoke. Got it on her. Got a boost from Tormund. Or sorry. Odin's passive tried to give the block damage buff to Maka our Lady Kimmy, but because of Tormund, uh, we were able to prevent that from happening. Let's get rid of this mythical champion here uh, because of uh, Tormund's freeze. So that kind of backfired, I guess. So we're going to, yeah. All right, we got a toughie here. Uh, Marius is here, so that's an issue. But we're going to see how well we can do. Again, Siffy is probably going to outspeed us, especially with that 40% boost from Odin. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't win them all. So, okay, never mind. Arbiter outspeeds Siffy just this once. So, all right. So either she places the... Okay, she boosts her meter. That's a good one also. Now, the, the issue that we have here is who do we hit first? Because if I hit Marius then Taurus is still going to have a chance to 
to clap. Now, what I can do is push turn meter back on Taurus just a little bit, also removing some of the max HP that he has. We can also hit the A2 on some of the champions. Uh, now I can hit Taurus or I can, I can hit Siffy. I might aim for Siffy and that's just enough barely to, to, um, to hit her uh, and bring her to death. And then we were able to activate that A3. Now what we have to worry about is the Asgardian Judgment because when he does that, guess who comes back? Taurus. But we're gonna get rid of that damage dealer and we're gonna take a swipe at Odin again. So now we're just worried about him bringing people back, hitting the A2, bringing the stun up, and George it. Oh, yeah! So uh, I'm going to bring Warlord in this time just as a bait for a ban. Uh, he's got his only damage dealer being Leo, but he's also got Tormund in here. So in case he bans Siffy, I brought in Warlord because Warlord does have the, um, the A2. Now... We don't have to worry too much about Leo because uh, Rotos's A3 is going to be able to clap through it. What we do have to worry about, though, is Duchess reviving, placing the Veil, uh, because if that happens, then uh, we run into an issue where we can't target Leo in time for us to clap him before he can take a turn and clap us. So we'll, we'll see where this ends up. Uh, block buffs coming up from Siffy, gonna give the boost to Rodos, we're gonna smite through Leo. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I it totally passed me by. He probably thought he was gonna be able to outspeed me with Arbiter, um, which is not not a bad assumption because um, you know Arbiter is a really fast champion. Uh, but more often than not, Sippy is going to outspeed Arbiter. So brought it back, brought him back, and now our issue with Leo comes up because if she places the A2. I can't target Leo, I can only target Duchess. But luckily, Warlord hits the A3, putting everybody's skills on cooldown, which means Duchess can't really do anything except for the A1, giving us the opportunity that we need to strike up against Leo. So what we can do here to prevent um, any mishaps from happening is we're going to put Torment to sleep. So he can't uh, remove any buffs, he can't hit the A A2 or anything. We're going to speed boost, put their speed down, we're also going to make sure, because our block buffs is about to expire, we're going to want to make sure we're keeping that up as well. So get rid of the damage dealers so that they can't do anything. Decreasing the cooldown on Rodos. What is Arbiter going to do? Arbiter can't really do anything except to hit the A1. She's only going to be able to hit the A1 here. She hits it on Shu Zen, and the next move goes to Shu Zen. Actually, no, it goes to um, Siffy. Let's take a little poke at this ice over here. Going to push turn meter back um, on Tormund, push it back even further. Try to give it to Rodos, uh, assuming Sippy doesn't uh, outspeed Rodos again. So that way, Rodos can swipe through Duchess. Duchess can only hit the A1 for now. Also places that shield. Uh, we're going to put Arbiter to sleep here. Going to hit the A3 on Duchess. Then we're going to hit the A2 on Arbiter. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's give him a chance. Let's hit Tormund instead. So we don't have to worry about the um, the freeze debuff on Rodos because as soon as he takes a turn, boom, that passive removes it from him. So we're going to hit uh, Tormund again, hit Tormund again, give her a good chance to, um, what do you call it, bring bring her bring her crew back, back to life here. Give him one more chance. And that's honestly kind of a dick move on my end. All right, well, we're done, uh, we're done waiting, so... All right, next fight. Oh yeah. I don't even like the boss, but my baby got so hard to. She ain't playing with you. Always.